His Excellency would like to ask if any of the residential school survivors would like to take this opportunity to be heard by His Holiness. My mother would like to speak in her language. Aileen Spears, Nisikasun, Nya Oste, Cree Nation. My name is Aileen Spears. I am from the Cree Nation in Manitoba, Canada. When things are too good, I'm just scared that things will be taken away. I want my children home where they should be. It's the law, Matthew. You go to jail if you don't sign. Grace, honestly, Bones of Crows is an astonishingly great film. I mean, in terms of its artistry, the, the story, its richness. I mean, I thought I knew a lot about residential schools and Indigenous, you know, suffering at the hands of settlers, but this really opened my eyes. Did you learn anything from it? <laughs> I learned uh, so much. I mean, uh, so little is taught to us through education um, in the uh, Western school system. I also know a lot, it's no secret what happened in residential schools to us as indigenous people, but I'm so grateful. Um, thank you for you know, sharing and being open to learning. I think that's kind of the goal is that I hope that non-indigenous folks can keep being present and keep being curious. So, I mean, Buffy St. Marie has been talking about residential schools since the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody listened because now, because due to the graves, now we're talking. I mean, mm -hmm. this is 40 years later. I love Buffy. She, a good, uh, a friend of mine. She's she's a hero. She's uh, <laughs> my, my family. She comes to. I grew up in Northern British Columbia, and she always recognizes my family because I've I have a photo when I was I think three. You know, she's holding me, and she's been a hero of mine for so long. Oh man, oh man, that is great that you know her. The role of Aline is a huge burden for any actor. You know, a lot can happen in the decades that you, you represent. Did you pull anything out of yourself for this that helped you as an actor? You have to. I mean, I get a script, I get uh, a character description, I get a history, I do my research. But the one of the biggest things that I learned as a young um, actor, and I think when I started booking roles, was you can't leave yourself out. So if I bring a piece of me, especially as a as a indigenous Sequat woman, you know, I am a survivor. My family are survivors of residential school system. We all are as Indigenous people. So I have to bring that in. And um, I think that's what gives us our power. But primarily Aline, um, but also, you know, I, I still, I feel like I am uh, woven into it. Think of the education they will receive. If it wasn't for the church, the residential school system would never exist. We have 324 students that will keep them in a state of malnutrition. And if you want to motivate the Indian, you must starve him. Naturally, we're seeing a rise in sickness. Be careful. You're going to see things you never forget. you got to keep it inside you. You didn't think your master escape would go unpunished. I need your protection. You were an Indian. I don't owe you anything. You promised me that you won't look back. You are our tomorrow. We're sending you to London, putting together a special operation. The Germans haven't been able to crack our codes in Cree. How did you keep your language? We've been training all our lives. There is no way that we are going to give up when we are threatened with cultural genocide. She's been through so much, but but she managed to retain her language, number one, that gave her a, a future job, and she retained her spirit. And I'm sure there's millions of people who did did that, but you know, we need to celebrate them. And I think this is part of the appeal of Bones of Crows, because you could say, yes, yes, it's possible to survive trauma. I think that um, it's, it's exactly that. I mean, people are easy to say it's a story of, of trauma, it's a, it's a story of, um, of fighting, but I, I really, feel like it's a story of love, it's a story about a family's love. And it shows that if you really truly care about your family, you will do anything. And I know, you know, I am an example of that. We all are, you know, our parents fought for us to be here. Um, and especially 500 years after colonization, uh, you know, we are, we are still here and it's very beautiful. and. Um, I'm, I'm so grateful because I think that love, love is the word. It's not so much about everything that we went through. It, it's, it's our survival.
Yes. Oh, well said. So well said. The script, the acting, the preparing, the first read, mm. when did it hit you hardest, what you had in, ahead of you? I remember uh, reading the first audition and I thought, this is, this is me. I knew it. I've been an actor uh, for uh, going on 14 years now. And I knew this was my role. I mean, every actor can say that, right? You go, oh, this is me. I got this. That's kind of that self-talk. But I knew in the depth of my spirit. And then I think three, four months later, I get a call from Marie Clements. She's like, so you want to do Bones of Crows? Yes, of course. She's like, oh, yeah, we were, we were sorting through things. Oh, yeah, we, we knew. You're perfect. I was like, I just suffered and sweat you know, blood, sweat, and tears for four months waiting because I thought this was me. <laughs> and I look thought. what the reviewers are saying. Yeah, I, 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 I knew. I mean, this is a, such a dream come true. Now, what about all the young actors? Uh, you know, the children. Uh, how do they? How are they protected on the set? As youth, yeah. as young people, we have to protect our kids and our youth and our babies. And this, you know, Bones of Crows, especially with summer. Um, who plays the young version of me, I just, I adore her like a sister. And seeing the courage that she has, the power that she has, the strength, she inspires me. And I just, I, I wish the best for her. And I know she works so hard, but it's up to me to, and, and our team here uh, behind Bones of Crows to protect her. She has everything that I wanted to be when I was at age. So I'm just really proud of our kids and we just need to protect them. I also want to ask about protecting them from the subject matter. How did you balance that? I mean, I think that would be, you know, Marie Clements obviously has a lot more power in that. I was only on set uh, opposite from the younger version than me, opposite from the kids, right? Because I, I play an older version. But when it comes to the, the content, I really believe that if we were young enough to experience residential schools, then kids are old enough to understand and learn about it. I really believe that. So I think parents who... Uh, don't want their kids to know about residential schools. I wish that we never had to go through it too. Wow, Grace, thank you. Thank you so much for your eloquence and passion. Best of luck with the picture. Cooks, Jim, thank you. They knew love. What you taught them was an education in unrelenting cruelty. You are my home.